Colorado Buffaloes had a 14-game losing streak in conference, 13 straight on the road. Would they get it done? The answer is yes, and here is how with a 17-13 win over Oregon State. Homecoming at Research Stadium. Colorado has possession for nearly eight and a half minutes to start the ball game, and finally it's capped by the field goal, and then you've got the interchangeable freshman quarterback, Yogi. Nick Mitchell, Seth Collins played both of them throughout this entire game. Had some momentum going here early in the game, running the ball with Ryan Null. He proved to be really a feature back. We'll see that, I think, the rest of the season. But Seth Olufa, just too much. You know, you want to bring pressure, host quietly, calmly scramble to his right and find his favorite target in Nelson Spruce, the craftiest receiver in the entire conference. And it was a game, though, that kind of went back and forth as Oregon State found themselves back up into this game, tied up. They get a Garrett Owens 42-yard field goal. But in the fourth quarter, KC, it was Sefo time. Quarterback run, he gets his way into the end zone. They take the lead, and then they get the pick to seal it. Cheeto Bay, Awuz, yay, continues to make plan plays. And it was an emotional one, man. It really was for Mike McIntyre in his third year. At the helm as the head coach. He let all that frustration go as... They come up with a win at Reeser Stadium. The Buffaloes now 4-4 four four on the year at UCLA next weekend here on the Pac-12 Network. And Oregon State now 0-4 in conference at number 3 Utah. 4 o'clock Pacific start on the Pac-12. We'll be there. Oh, by the way, Utah, they're going to be slightly salty. Just a bit. After a loss to the Trojans on the weekend. But it was the Buffaloes who went on the road to defeat Oregon State 17-13.